Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our video blog. This is Jessica Laferra. Hi. I'm Nick Mirabella, and today we're discussing um, how to take care of your blow dryer, how to clean it, what the parts are used for, and what they actually are, and then how to take proper care of your brushes. So there's a few things I've noticed um, actually at, when I went to my bathroom and saw my fiance's brushes, and then I saw her blow dryer. So oh. I was like, "What a good idea to do to, a video to, on like, it. do a video on this." Um, proper hygiene is necessary for us in a salon, obviously, oh, yes. because we deal with the public. Um, so we constantly clean our brushes and we're always using a blow dryer, so we're always cleaning the back of them. But at home, the reason why you want to clean your brushes is because not just product buildup, but actually dust mites, um, bacteria, yeast, they can begin to grow in that big wad of hair you have wrapped around a brush that you use every day. So that's just gross. Even though it's your hair and usually it's pretty clean, but just sitting in the bottom of the cabinet or just that hair begins to develop. It um, builds up. It builds up and then moisture is in the bathroom. There's a lot of humidity in the shower. That breeds bacteria. So let's just jump right into um, the blow dryer first, okay? So this is a uh, Elchem 3900. Love this dryer. Actually, it's your dryer. It's my dryer. <laughs> so many of you ladies, when you, when you get a box or you get your box of blow... Um, when you get your blow dryer in the box, you have one or two of these. One's wider, one's more narrow. Sometimes you have more than one of the filters in the back, uh, but for the most part, you only have one. This right here needs to be on your dryer. If it's not on your dryer, not only does dust get into your motor, but your hair will get sucked right into the back of the dryer. I've seen it happen several times. Yeah. A few of my um, single dads out there, I guess, didn't know what the hell they were doing. And he had to bring the dryer in with the hair. <gasps> in like, it? Yeah, like sucked into his, his <gasps> daughter's hair. So we had to try and fish it out. It was a real pain in the ass, but we got it out. Just cut a lot of hair out too. But um, this is most the, one of the most important things on your dryer, if not the most important thing. Now, if this isn't cleaned, it's going to not let airflow come through, which is going to burn your motor out even faster. So this needs to be on. So to clean it, take it, this off. The metal piece in, in it comes out and you can just like run it over water, yeah. take a dry, dry towel, dry it, tap it, and we put it back in, it snaps right in, and then you just put it back on there. Cool. Now also, look at that dust in there. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Also clean the brim over here too, so you dust that builds you up in there. take like a, like a little damp towel and just kind of like rub it in there and maybe we'll blow it out and then... Good to go. To be honest, guys, a toothbrush. Oh yeah, or a toothbrush. It's like That's a good idea. Yeah, not one you use, but like an no, old yeah. one, or one you only use on like weird items. Like it could be your engagement ring, could be a watch. Um, toothbrushes are really good for cleaning a lot of different things, and we're gonna get into that with the brush as well. So this nozzle right here, these little metal grates, mostly they're always metal on blow dryers or some type of metal. They get hot. So I've also seen some clients. Who have like little singed pieces of hair because they touch this to the brush not realizing that this is the hottest part of the dryer so this serves two purposes this serves as an air concentrator okay to direct airflow in a, in a more narrow stream to smooth your hair out but it also gives you a little distance between that hot metal plate on the front and those those grills and your actual hair so this serves two purposes <clears throat> you use this at home, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you always use this before you got in the hair or no? Yeah, always. Yeah, you always used it? I okay. kind of just always already knew that this is something that always should be on the blow dryer. I don't yeah. think I necessarily knew why, but I it just always... Oh, it, so it just right, right, exactly. She's a real follower. <laughs> so it's very important. So this is the air concentrator and it kind of gives you a little distance from the hot metal grate in there and your hair. And this is definitely a necessity to make sure you yeah. always have it on there. So make sure you always have those two things on your dryer. Next up is brushes. So Jess worked on Saturday. So I don't think she cleaned her brush after work. I usually clean my brushes when I come in on Tuesday morning before I start my day. And for Saturday's little, a little crazy. Yeah, I understand what that's like. So just give a little quick demo. Okay, so usually I, my brushes look like, like this. Well, I cut some, not a lot of hair, but some hair on it. I take like a, a narrow comb or even smaller than this if you have it. And I kind of just go through it like this, and what this is doing, it's up. all the hair is going at the tip of the brush, kind of gathers there, and it's all at the end of the brush around the top, and you just pull it right off. And I usually would put it in the garbage, but 
Um, and then, yeah, if you have to keep going back in again, just keep going through it. And it pretty much gets it, like, really clean. Right, cool. At this point, um, for the most part, you're pretty much done cleaning your brush. This allows your hair not to build up on the brush and creating that bacteria, yeast, and dirty environment like we spoke about before. Every now and then, I would say once a quarter, every season change, what you could do is you could take all your brushes, get like a, um, a little bucket almost, yeah. fill it with baking soda, some shampoo, mix it together. Hot and then water. Hot water. And then soak your brushes. Let it soak for like five, 10 minutes, get in there with that toothbrush and brush and clean all these little bristles that are on here. And that works for a metal brush, that works for a plastic brush, uh, even a bore bristle brush. And just let them air dry. If you want to put them out on a windowsill so sun can dry them, or if you just want to dry them with your dryer, either or, it doesn't make a difference. One thing I wanted to actually point out with this brush, and a lot of you ladies may not understand, or may not even know it exists, is the little pick at the bottom. It's like a little weapon, but this is meant for sectioning your hair. So if you want a nice clean section, which you should be sectioned when you blow out, that's what this is for. So some of you don't even know you have it on your dryer. Some drivers do, some drivers don't have it. But that, that's what it's used for. It's a pick to section hair. So you can kind of come around, clip it up, and it's take cleaner sections as you're blowing dry. So I you use also, it. I use it too, when I, I section. I don't have nails, so it just makes my life a lot easier as a stylist, so. It's yeah. better when, especially if you have thick hair. I use that a lot for my clients who have thick hair because it's harder to get through the section. Yeah. Uh, thinner hair is a little bit easier because use my fingers. Um, but or you can use a, the clip. Or this, a clip, yeah. This feels just really easy to get through. Always keep that in mind if you have a brush and it has that little uh, tip or nub on the end of it, more than likely it pulls out and it's a little pick for you. Yeah. I hope that was pretty helpful. Um, why you should clean your brushes and how to clean them. Jess, do you have anything to add to that or? No. No, <laughs> no. it's pretty. It's pretty, it's pretty easy, it's pretty, it's pretty basic. Simple. Just keep your tools clean. Stylus, non-stylus. It's and really important for your lace at home because you don't, you're not getting judged by your clients looking at your dirty brushes. So you, have yeah. to, you know, we have to keep it clean. Clean always. Yeah. But you ladies should actually just really keep on top of keeping them clean. Yeah. Okay. And your blow dryer. Any questions? Feel free to leave them in the comment box below. Uh, you can email me, Nick at BrickandMirrorBeauty.com. Jess, do we have an email for you? I don't you want, have an email. Do you want to get an email? Jess at BrickandMirrorBeauty.com. You can message me on my Instagram too. Right, at that? Jess LaFerrera. Okay, how do you spell that? Nope, we'll just put it down here. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm at Nick Maribella. So again, guys, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below or message us directly. All right, Bye. Cool. Bye.